one of the greatest opportunities on the horizon for development in Sacramento is often the most overlooked and misunderstood. These are parcels deserted in some cases decades ago as the industrial age began to wane. The pockets of property hold potential to be transformed into valuable real estate, if not for one problem. Contamination from leftover toxic materials creates a unique challenge for developers. Known as brownfield sites, these eyesore areas can be cleaned up and repositioned as economic engines that generate jobs and tax revenue. It is estimated that for every dollar spent to clean up a brownfield site, an additional $7 of economic activity is generated within five miles of the site itself, providing a positive spillover effect in its surrounding areas. Two well-known examples of sites in Sacramento that are being converted into new uses are the downtown rail yards and Curtis Park projects. Two brownfields programs funded by the United States Environmental Protection Agency are currently available in Sacramento to either assess contaminated sites or provide subloans that leverage other funding sources. The city is also working on a project to revitalize an aging PG&E powerhouse into a science and space museum that will become a regional attraction. This $200,000 Brownsfield grant will help offset the costs of remediating the remaining toxic substances inside the aging PG&E building and allow for its adaptive reuse as the powerhouse science center. It will facilitate the restoration and revitalization of this Brownfield site in the River District. Pollutants from the past do not have to mean a bleak future for former industrial sites. The city can help unlock the gates. For more information about the Sacramento Brownfields program, visit the city's economic development website.